C'est moi, ma Faiz Abdoumana. Sir, the issue of third parties profiting from reselling of public sports facilities has recently received much attention after, after a couple of media articles were published on the matter. It was mentioned in one of these articles that there is even a virtual shop space to purchase bookings at public sports facilities such as badminton courts. A Straits Times article dated 1st February 2021 reported social footballers had to fork out between $240 and $300 in order to play. In another media report, it was said that the reseller is making a profit of $180. So, in responding to such unethical practices, Sport Singapore or Sport SG was reported as saying that it, was, it has vowed to clamp down on the unscrupulous practice of few active SG members who resell booking of its sports facilities for a profit. A follow-up media report dated 15 February 2021 mentioned that 255 active SG accounts guilty of reselling bookings have been suspended by Sport SG. I would like to ask the Ministry, apart from the suspensions of accounts, what other measures or actions has Sport SG implemented to further and better manage the situation? Sir, we do have, we do have public sport facilities managed by other public entities such as People's Association Community Clubs. I would like to urge MCCY and Sport SG to initiate and lead a more concerted effort involving other public entities in eradicate, eradicating such unscrupulous practice and exploitation of our public sports facilities. Thank you, sir.